I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data analytics and data engineering. In this episode, we're going to return to our Python playlist and we're going to talk about how to define functions in Python. Now, functions are a very important part of programming and in Python, uh, this is no less true than for other languages. Uh, you can do all kinds of things with uh, functions and functions are basically uh, units of code that you make that uh, you can call whenever you want and, uh, and they will return a value in most cases uh, and uh, they're very very handy for if you have repetitive tasks and things like that. So without further ado let's get to our Python functions. Okay, so I've started the idle shell here and I'm just going to do a new file and this is using the standard um, installation of Python from python.org and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to define some functions uh, in Python and we're going to make some simple ones and a little bit more complicated. Now with Python functions you're going to use def and then give your function a name so I'll call this one a simple message and then you'll put the uh, brackets after it and a colon and you'll notice that the indenting goes down gives you one indent after that and uh, that's very important to remember that the indent is an uh, important part of the function so all I'm going to do for this function I'm just going to say print hi guys this is a simple message from Python you put that inside of brackets and then uh, that's your function so if you go back out of your indent uh, you've created one function and so that's probably the simplest way that you can make a function and then uh, we can move on and what we're going to do in this next function is uh, we'll use the DEF uh, statement again and then we'll give it a name and then inside of our brackets we're going to uh, put the values that we want to pass into the function um, so that the function will do something based on those values. So I'm going to call this uh, stuff from the store and then I'll put stuff and store uh, with my colon at the end. That's going to make a function. And uh, so this function will obviously do something with whatever I put for stuff and whatever I put for store. So I'll, I'll put this string together here and uh, I'll say I really need and then and then we'll we'll use the uh, uh, Python string uh, uh, manipulation here to put the uh, values into our string and we'll put a, a, a percent sign s for each of those values um, so that I really need something from and then the location and we'll put our percent sign we'll put our, our variables after that so that it puts a string together for us with our values in it and that's a very simple um, Python function uh, that takes two arguments into the uh, function. Now note that the uh, values that go into the function are called arguments and uh, that's very useful uh, if you do any additional reading. Um, so in our next function what we'll do is we're going to make a function that uh, is going to multiply some numbers and uh, and what it'll do is it'll it'll multiply two numbers together um, instead of doing an action like printing out you know some values that we put into it like the previous function so we'll do uh, multiply two numbers and uh, we'll call them a and b and we'll say in our function that c is equal to a times b and we'll return c and uh, that's going to give us a multiplication uh, function and then in order to test out our functions we'll do these one by one um, so you'll notice that uh, first of all that the functions are at the top of our script so that uh, they get read into the interpreter first um, so that if we want to do anything with those functions we need to uh, do that uh, we'll, we'll do that below so uh, if we're just running our script we'll say uh, for example uh, we'll just say a simple message and we'll put our brackets on there and when we hit F5 we'll save that and hit F5 for it to go uh, you'll see that the message comes up it says hi guys this is a simple message from Python and that is exactly what we wanted to see 
and then moving on to our next function to test out we could test out the stuff from store function and where we could say stuff from store and we'll put uh, you know uh, potatoes and from the supermarket and and uh, that will <clears throat> put those two values into our function uh, so that when we run that one um, it'll it'll give us a, a sentence that says that and if say we wanted to do another one we could say stuff from store we'll say tires from from the tire shop and uh, um, that'll give us a nice return answer as well into the uh, into the console so if we run that one so there we can hit save and then F5 and uh, that one will run and we'll see okay hi guys this is a simple message from Python that was our first one and then I really need potatoes from the supermarket and I really need tires from the tire shop and uh, that's a very simple way of sort of demonstrating a uh, simple input function and then for our next example what we could do is we could uh, use our multiply two numbers function and uh, <clears throat> we'll put two numbers in uh, we'll say 10 by 5 and uh, and we'll just get a value out of that and uh, actually we'll go back we'll load that into a variable just for demonstration so we'll say x is equal to uh, multiply two numbers uh, 10 by 5 and then we'll print out the output from that and I'll go up and oh, I, I need to fix the indenting here so this is an indented function here we actually just need to move that over so that uh, it's not uh, indented entirely that was a typo there so we'll move that back to where it should be and uh, so that our function will run properly and then we can go ahead and open that save and then F5 and there it goes and you can see there it added 50 at the end because we all we did was print out the number 50 plus our original uh, <clears throat> output that we uh, had in our script and uh, that will give us a good demonstration of using uh, multiply two numbers and for a final example uh, we'll show how to call one function from inside another um, so we could make a function that uses a function. That's also something that you can do with, with uh, these Python functions. And so what we'll do is we'll, we'll use DEF and we'll say tires needed. And we'll say that uh, uh, cars is an input for that. So cars is the argument. We'll put a colon on the end there. And then we'll say uh, tires uh, equals uh, multiply two numbers. Uh, and then we'll put in cars and then four because most cars have four four tires although some do not um, so we'll say cars and four as our arguments and then once we have that number uh, we've we've called a function from inside our function then we can use another function to to uh, demonstrate um, to demonstrate the output of that and what I'm going to do just before I finish off our function down here is I'm going to go up and change our original function so that it can take the uh, an amount argument and then we'll put the amount into our string here um, so that we can say um, you know here I need this many of something from this instead of just our original statement so I'll say in this case we use the uh, percent %d uh, because there's a number coming in uh, as an argument instead of a string and so uh, now I can go back down I can say uh, stuff from store and I'll say tires as the input number and then uh, it'll be our stuff argument which is tires and then our store argument uh, which is uh, well, the, the, the tire shop and then just like we tested for our other uh, functions we'll go down to the bottom and uh, we can uh, put in our function name so we'll say tires needed and we'll input the uh, the, the cars argument um, for the number of cars and uh, and then we can 
uh, go ahead. So we'll say in this case we'll say one car and uh, and then we can go ahead and uh, take a look at this just before we run it. And I think just before running this one I'll go ahead and I'm just going to comment out our our original functions because they're just adding to the output and uh, and I'll get rid of that X and the print there so that we just see our tires needed function when we run it and uh, <clears throat> and and then we can go ahead from there and this function at the top changed, so it's good that we commented out the earlier usages and we'll hit save and F5 and then we'll see what we get there and it says I really need four tires from the tire shop uh, which is exactly what we want to see and that is how you use functions in Python. I hope you enjoyed our discussion today about Python functions and I hope that you can use uh, these uh, functions in, in your project. Uh, if you like what you saw today please uh, give the video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. If you have any questions or comments about what you saw today, uh, please uh, leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll do my best to uh, answer any questions that you might have. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll talk to you next time.